Now, did you notice that it was signed in Rome? Now, England, Denmark and Ireland joined them in 1973 and Greece became the 10th member of the European Union in 1981 and the rest followed. Now, in October 2004, 25 European Union countries signed a treaty and established a European constitution. In 2007, another two countries joined and the members raised to 27. Now, something that I want you to keep in mind is that Germany is the strongest economical power of the European Union on this very moment. Now, to explain something, we read in the New York Times On the 1st of July 2009, the heading Rome Attractions. Of Rome's seven hills, the Capitoline is the most sacred. Its origins stretched way back into antiquity. A temple to Jupiter, Marduk or Baal, once stood on the spot. Now the top is a perfectly square. One side of the piazza is open and the others are bounded by the town council, the Capitoline Museum, and the Palace of Conservatory. Now the Palace of the Conservatory is the building where the European Union signed their constitution in 2004. Now this is an illustration of the ancient Capitoline Hill in Rome. Now on top of the hill was the pagan temple of Jupiter. Now Jupiter was also known as Marduk, Nimrod, Bel or Baal. Now Marduk was a Babylonian god with his pet a serpent. Now in the picture on the right hand side, can you see the ruins of the old Roman temple still standing in the Capitoline Museum. Now this is an ancient illustration of Marduk with his snake pet. Now Marduk was the Greek god Zeus and the Roman god Jupiter. Now can you see how it all ties together? That is why all the religions of the world can merge together and form a one world religion because they all serve Satan. Now a god with a snake pet. This is Satan and the snake that deceived Eve. Now the European Union signed their constitution in 2004 at the Capitoline Hill in the Palazzo dei Conservatori Hall in Rome and they called it the Constitution of Rome. Now then they changed from an economic community to political power in Europe. Now this is the inside of the Palace of the Conservatory at Capitoline Hill. Now below in the picture you will see a part of the statue of the Pope where Tony Blair and another man signed the Constitution. Now there you can see the Pope. And this is the photo again. Now notice how the kings of the earth are fornicating with Babylon. Now this information gives us the background, the cradle of birth of the European Union's constitution. Now it was signed on the sacred Capitoline Hill of Rome where once the temple of Jupiter, Marduk or Baal, stood. Interesting, don't you think? So we see the European Union's uniting of nations combined with a false state religion. The same concept that Satan planned through Nimrod at the Tower of Babel. Now Baal worship was also connected to a calf beast. We also notice that Europe's new common anthem is Ode to Joy, the prelude to the last movement of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Now, an European Union document states that although the anthem officially is the Ode to Joy, it really is an Ode to Freedom, to a sense of community and to peace between the 15 countries which have decided to unite and to others which will freely decide to join them. The lyrics of Ode to Joy was written by German Friedrich von Schiller. It concerned the entering of a shrine of a pagan goddess and the uniting of all men in brotherhood 
by the power of magic. Now the Queen of Heaven, Astarte Isis, the goddesses, by the power of magic, now we can see how it all ties together. Okay, we are back at the poster of the European Union again. Now we are going to take a look at the Parliament's building of the European Union. Now in December 2000, the European Union opened the new Parliament building in Strasbourg, France. Now the building was designed by Richard Rogers. Now this is the front side. It has strong design references to Peter Bruegel's painting of the Tower of Babel and a not completed appearance. Now in the old painting, the tower is unfinished because it is still under construction. The new European Union building is built to appear unfinished, just like the painting. It is also a tower with an open courtyard in the middle. Now looking upward, one can see the sky. Now this building features a mural of a naked woman riding a red beast. Now I could only find a very small picture so I hope you will be able to see it. Now notice that this is the same city Strasbourg, France, where a big painting of Mary with the 12 stars is looking over a map of Europe in the Catholic Cathedral. The European Union poster known as the construction site poster, showed Bruegel's painting of the Tower of Babel with a tower crane resuming its construction, where once God had intervened to halt the work. Now the poster was withdrawn after Christians protested, but its production speaks volumes about the European Union's aspirations. Now there you can see the Tower of Babel by Bruegel and the European Union Parliament building in Strasbourg, France. Now it is obvious. Now even the press who do not believe in God could not miss the connection between the old and the new towers of Babel. They labelled the new French structure as the Tower of Eru Babel. Now this is different newspapers and news blogs reporting that. According to the newspapers, we can see that the politicians of Europe view the coming together of the Union as a reconstruction of Babel. Now there is no doubt about that. Now we see that the goals of the European Union is that they are rebuilding the Tower of Babel, put a new world order in place with a new false one world religion and the rape of Europe. Now according to legends, Zeus deceived Europa a princess and he raped her. Now likewise Satan is going to deceive the world into trusting him and he will rape the truth with his lies and those who believed and followed him and the Antichrist will be lost for eternity. Now Europa is a woman now this could also symbolically be the abolishment of the true church of Jesus Christ as the Bible foretold us that will happen during the period of the tribulation. Also note that the normal European stars on their poster have been inverted into pentagrams. Now there you can see it. 